lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Buru kaya kapak pergi dulu kumba Syukur lu kumba lagi Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. My name is Bob, Hail King Payman. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. We have... That wasn't as good as it's supposed to be. Start over? Oh, Let's start over then. Yeah. yeah. Ready? Countdown. No, I mean the but sound on wasn't I didn't like good. the beginning even either. Oh, okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to another episode <laughs> of Tiger Belly, Hail King Payman. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's still not good. Oh, it doesn't so. matter. Right. It doesn't matter. It's more bass. Like that. Okay. Spoiler alert. Um, George is not here. I I um at first didn't care. I don't think I care now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I don't. I'm trying to feel like if I care or not. I feel guilty if I don't care, but I don't care. Do you know what he said to me, Bryce, after you guys went to see? Hereditary with Dylan Francis after last week's podcast. Oh yeah, he texted me too. What? He came home and he was like, "You know what I realized?" He actually goes, "You know what I just Who said realized?" This? You. Oh, oh fuck! Don't reveal my hand here. Oh, but he it loves only took them. Two, two years. Go ahead. I really love Bryce and George. Like I really, really enjoy their company. Thoughts, uh, Bryce? That is the kindest thing I've heard today. I, I feel like. I feel like he always always liked you better though. I'm just putting sorry, George. Yeah, but I, it was only a fake like. <laughs> <laughs> I only liked him more to I'm make a- George feel like weird. <laughs> you know? I lo- I'm okay. I'm superficial myself, so I, I hope it's my good looks and not my personality. Because just- it's definitely not your looks. I'll, I'll, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. When I say that you're good looking, all that you're really not good looking. You have a long face. Everything about you is long, and yeah. everything about you is uh, God fucked up. God. Yeah. <laughs> like God could have God could have said I'm gonna make this guy handsome but he made a couple of things long. a little askew like a little, a little bit too many gums in the mouth <laughs> too many right? gums yeah, yeah. That's, that's a Korean thing though I have a Korean dentist he's like oh your gums they're too they're too big you gotta come down like what yeah. I've never heard this <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Like, your yeah, gums are too big <laughs> do you know that when I was in high school <laughs> Bryce yeah. my tooth to gum ratio was atrocious I mean, I don't think I had teeth to show because I had braces and it pushed my... I had such big gaps when I was younger. And so when I had braces, it pushed my teeth together. Mm-hmm. And I swear to you, my gums were more swollen than you've ever seen in your life. But, you know, I'm being superficial. It's okay to have gums. It's a part of your mouth. You know what I mean? What am I going to do? Well, now I know. I was just don't smile. Okay. Just close uh, just your mouth yeah, at just all close your mouth at all kinds of times. Uh, but where is George? Uh, Michigan. What is he doing there? I, in the farm family? Land, doing know. his thing? Farms. Yeah. Anyway, I, you know, I did say that. I said what, what, what it was is that I was at the arc light with uh, Dylan and these two. And we're going to watch Hereditary. And then um, we ran into Skrillex. What's his name? Skrillex. Yeah. Skrillex. Skrillex. Oh, wow. He's a small man. Yeah, he's like. Does he still have long hair? I don't know, but he's a small little dude. Hey, little puppy. Uh, and I go, I go, what's up, Skrill? You know what I mean? Yeah. And he goes, who are you? <laughs> I go, oh, Skrill, I'm Bob. He goes, nice to meet you. I gave him like a side hug, kind of a fancy yeah, yeah, little yeah. thing. And then, but I realized hanging out with these guys is that I, I don't feel like I have to, you know, sometimes when I hang out with people, I have to go, hey, can you just not do that thing that you do in this environment? What do you mean? Like, well, like Steve, oh, for instance. Okay. I go, Steve, this is the opportune time not to show your rage. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I'll try not to, Bob. I go, no, you can't. You cannot show your rage here. But he's still like, and then, you know, but I don't have to do that with George and, uh, what's your name? Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I just know that they're just going to be kind of, you know, good white about it. Like GWs, man. Yeah, they're GWs. Like, they just kind of blend in, you know? Mm-hmm. And they don't really, you know they're not going to say anything. They're just kind of tall and ominous looking. They look, you know. It's like bodyguards for you. Pioneerish. Yeah. Very pioneerish, you know. The clothing is non threatening. It's always gap jeans or, you know what I mean? Like Some khakis. or khakis that yeah. they get at Banana Republic. The shirts are always just like, you know, the T- fine billabongy. Billabong. They're billabongy. The hairs are non intrusive. They're like, uh, 
military style almost. Mm. The shoes are um, Nike usually, running style, mm -hmm. Nikes. <laughs> running style. And they just, they don't smell anything. You don't smell nothing. They smell like air. Interesting. Yeah. S what? I'll give you compliments. They just blend it. It's I'm almost so as if I'm hanging out with ghosts. That's great. I'm soaking it up. Love it. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you're being like that. Because yeah. they're compliments. A lot of people are like, you know, you hang out with some people like Dean Del Rey or somebody. Yeah. You know, they, they, they want to, they wear smells like I wear smells. Like Dean's the same way. Like I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get, you know, I'm going to go to this fancy place and get this oakish, you, you know, tar cologne thing. Mm. Then I have mine on and they, they blend together. And it's not good. It's a battle. Yeah. Bobby always wants to smell like the future, like the apocalyptic future. <laughs> Like you've been uh, working? Like, no, I want people to go, did you travel to 2069? I go, yeah. And I saw I saw it, the flat earth burning. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? The kids in the rags. Mm -hmm. And I ran into, you know, Ke Kevin Costner, the postman. <laughs> you know, and, and like I ran into... The scent that he wears right now, it's actually just called smoke. And it doesn't even come in like a little spray. It comes with a dropper. Like oh, it's wow. actually used to smoke meat. I'm quite. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm quite. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I'm You're actually convinced that smoke. he's trying to pass off liquid smoke as perfume. Damn. It's, it's called liquid smoke. smoke. I, I guarantee you, if I use that on my meat, yeah. on the meat tonight, it? yeah. it'll be delicious. I guarantee you it will. But that's what I want to smell like. Delicious. No, I want people to go. Are you barbecuing or did you? Are you a coal miner? What's going on? Yeah. And I go, no, I came from my little condo in Beechwood. <laughs> I haven't done anything on blue collar in a very long time. But I want to smell like it. Is that weird? My jeans have to look dirty. Everything has to look kind of dirty and ragged. Yeah. But is that, is that, is that gross no, you're just that I'm to, doing that? You're just trying to be like easy, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I just want easy E? No. She's no. saying you're like, oh. you're like Kanye. Yeah. You're like, you're so rich that you want to look poor. That's such a fucking LA thing to do. It's quite disgusting, actually. Well, you know where I got it from? Who? This is going to sound so gross, but um, I'm going to tell you. So years ago, I didn't know who what he looked like, but there was like this... I was working the door at the comedy store, mm -hmm. and there was this fucking homeless man, right? This fat homeless man who was wobbling up into the OR, and I didn't think I didn't see him come in. So as a doorman, you have to go, hey, man, what the fuck? You know, let me see your ticket. And I, I, and also, you're homeless. There's no way you bought a ticket. Yeah. As, I, I'm, as I'm approaching him, a guy pulls me back, another doorman. He goes, what are you doing? I go, that homeless guy, you know? He goes, you can't fuck with that guy. Just let him sit down. I go, who is that? Rick Rubin. Oh. <laughs> and I, then the whole night, I stared at Rick Rubin. He smelt like the earth mm -hmm. he looked like the earth yeah, he's and yet so he he doesn't but he's this guy right a big producer he's got money and i thought that's the way i'm gonna go i'm gonna look like you know but then i'm gonna you know actually be better. i don't know what's worse someone with money who's flossing like name brands or someone with money who's intentionally trying to look poor like I can't figure out what I find more annoying. <laughs> what do you mean? My no, obviously the one that you spend money is the one annoying. No, because like I'm like okay, at least there's like... a spectrum where can you have? Would you want something in the middle? Name brands, a little bit homeless. Yeah, like okay, so if I see someone who's like three Lamborghinis and they're just really you know very fancy with it, right? yeah. Or someone who's so goddamn full of themselves that they gotta like fucking dress like a homeless person i think that's actually worse i'm sorry i'm sorry I'm, you don't even know what i'm gonna do <laughs> what is he gonna when do? i get more successful i'm gonna get sketchers right yeah i'm gonna dirty them up and then i'm gonna you know front part of the shoe i'm gonna chop them so my toes stick out right mm. and you know my toes yeah right they got gangrene on it right they're yeah. greenish right they're different but i'm yeah but i'm not i'm gonna make it even more greener by just putting like maybe pain i don't know i want to make it seem like my <laughs> toes have been through things like it's that they, they have diabetes or something yeah yeah <laughs> can i tell you what he's done when we first met he yeah. was like oh hey like give me your chucks like give me give me your sneakers and i was like what are you gonna do with it and then we go to like this 
fancy delicatessen and he buys like fifty dollar like coffee beans he grinds them up and then he starts like painting my shoe with it and then he ties it to the back of his car and then we drag it for like three miles he's like oh, no, wait, i drove a, a pair of converse from arizona to la and he's like oh this is the look <laughs> this is the look you need that you want but brand new converse dragged them 200 miles wow and they look great <laughs> Yeah, because brand new Converse look weird. But they that's like you're being a poser because shoes are supposed to reflect your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is not like zero movement. I know. So but... you, want, you, you want people to believe that you've actually <laughs> walked a million miles in those shoes? Or does when it, really... But does it make people question like, I know he doesn't move, but yeah. it looks like he's been walking for two If your miles. shoes were to properly reflect your lifestyle, they'd be squeaky white. I know because I don't use them. Yeah. I take two steps into my car, two steps into the comedy store. Two steps back in the car, two steps home. We were looking for houses, yeah. and we saw this amazing Don't be home. like this. And then we were really excited. Yeah. We were like, oh, this is the one, this is the one. And then at the very end, on our way out, he's like, I can't get this one. I was like, why? Because it has stairs. That's like okay, seven no, no, that's, steps. No, 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 seven no, 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 I've no, seen no, you no. walk stairs. No, 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 no. Do you remember Lord of the Rings? Yes. Okay. It's a favorite reference. Here. Rivendale. <laughs> okay. Remember Rivendale? Yes. With the waterfalls where yeah, the elves live or whatever. It's gorgeous. There's all these steps. Uh-huh. That's what it was. It was like that. Like it's tears, like, tears on yeah, tears. Yeah, if I was like on the Jamaican Jamaican running team, yeah. then I would get that. If I was Hussein Bolt what Bolton, what is his name? You say Bolt. Bolt. <laughs> whatever his name is. Michael Bolton. <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> yeah. If I was Michael Bolton, I would get those. Okay. But I'm not. I'm a fat, small you know, squishy guy. But you don't leave the house much. So it would only require you to take a total of like 14 steps. Like total. I also think that in the future when I get older, I might just one day go, you know, I'm not going to go get a hotel room. I can't go those stairs. Mm. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. Right. Yeah. I'd rather just be easy about it. And also I, there was other things about the house I didn't like. We've been house hunting and it's hard. Yeah. And we saw one the other day that was close. What's funny? How would you describe your style? I'm, I think you guys if, were similar. If it doesn't look like a Japanese botanical home slash fucking Blade Runner Moscow, oh, like he doesn't want it. Future-ish. Like if it doesn't look like it belongs in both the future and the past. Yeah. <laughs> so hard to he find. Doesn't want it. It's not hard to find, man. <laughs> future if you and can't, the past? Yeah, if you, Just if, get a time machine, bro. Oh, okay, well. I swear. And it's like, I think that I have his taste down. And I've come really close. That, that last one was close, but it's just not it yet. At this point, I should be a realtor. I should be a realtor for difficult people with big imaginations. I also don't understand why you wouldn't just like design your own home. Mm, fall out. Okay, because I, like I know that. Okay, this is what Ellen DeGeneres does. Okay. This is what I heard. That she likes to buy land and just design a home from scratch, okay? Yeah. She's a multi, multi-millionaire. She can do that. Me, I got one shot. I've never designed shit before. I think you'd be amazing. I know, but I haven't done it yet. So I believe that if one day I have that kind of money, if I get lucky or whatever, then I could fuck up on one house and go, I know I did wrong. what I did wrong. Mm. I'll give that to Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then Bob, the bathroom's upside down. <laughs> Bob. Yeah, Bob. yeah. And then, you know, I'll you know, but I, I don't want to fuck up on the first one. Mm. Because I also my imagination go can go wild. I don't know what I what I can and cannot do. Your fallout's pretty orderly though. Your yeah. your homes. Yeah, because I want they need to be functional. Yeah, but they also like What what what, what was that? But isn't your house want to be functional? His homes that he makes on Fallout are yeah. all like they they all should be in like architectural digest. Exactly. They're really cool. He's actually he's got an eye for interior design like much better than me and he just has a cool um he has cool taste. He really does. I will give you that. But that's what I want. I'm, I'm not if I'm going to spell that kind of, spend that kind of money, I want to get a good one. I don't care where it is. Just but give me a good one. It, you keep saying that it has to be a home that you're going to die in. I I I I just gotta say this, okay? We I fucking we saw three that I would have got, but oh. those three that we got, there were problems with it. The John Legend house, Damn. we went to John Legend's house, old house, old house. It looks great. It's amazing. I would have got that, but it was too. It was a lot. 
Also, we weren't quite ready. Yet. We weren't ready yet. Mm. The second house was in Silver Lake. It was a Japanese house. But it looked too much like she a She didn't museum. like it. it no, and it was, it was amazing. Too dark. I just couldn't. I felt like every time if I were to come home to it, it, it would feel like coming home to like a creepy museum. Like it was so specific to the previous owner's taste that I felt like their soul rested in the walls because there was so much it 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 was like everything the Japanese sits bath to the in, mm. interior like there was a koi pond and a, a, like oh, a little cool. like mini park in the middle of the fucking in the middle in the middle the of the living room, room. Like an actual park in there's yeah. like a park bench and like grass <laughs> and a koi pond in the middle in of the, the middle house. of the living room old Asian people doing tai chi yeah. already there <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was like there, okay to get to it you take an elevator yeah there's an elevator dude that sounds cool it looks so good and you know what the thing is I imagine the elevator you 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 go up and you see a wall, just a blank wall. But what I would do is put images on that wall. So when people come to my house, they'll see like, you know what I mean, a, like a handicap kid in a wheelchair, and then it goes up, and then three black guys with their hard on dicks. So like I would tell changing. a story when you go up the elevator. So when people come oh, to my I house, right? Saying. When people come up to the final floor, they know that's Bobby Lee's house. You're like, yeah, it's like a museum. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right. Which but, is already but like a what nut. I found out was I think we found out that these two old people designed the house in the fifties, mm -hmm. but they died there. Yeah, and you could feel that in the walls. Like, and I, I, for me, it's like I don't need no white fucking old white ghosts just hanging out. Okay, so when you were, yeah. if you were to ever buy a house, Bryce or Gilbert, don't you think it's really important? Like when you walk in, no matter how beautiful it is, like how it makes you feel. Like if it feels like oh, there's like. Do you guys ever if feel like when you walk into a, a room and like the back of your neck hair, like your hair stands up and you're like, whoa, like this is a cool place, but ooh, it gives me like the heebie-jeebies kind of. Well, yeah, especially after Hereditary, it's like I don't oh need like no I don't need ghosts and demons. Nope, I'm out of there. No. Okay. So yeah, I, 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 I'm afraid of. I'm afraid. I'm. I'm. Uh, maybe it's race racist, but oh. I'm a f for for some reason, if black people died in a house, I wouldn't be scared. Yeah. Me neither. Why is that? Cause I feel if like Asians died in a house, I wouldn't be scared. I would be scared with Asians. I've oh yeah, 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 yeah. Tokyo. I've watched enough right. Japanese horror. You just films. see a, like a wig, a black, like in the middle of the night. Oh. When you see like a black wig somewhere, yeah. and you're like, oh, you're out. There's yeah. no way. Any girl, mm -hmm. any girl. I no feel like black it. people would be real nice. Mexicans would be real nice. Yeah. Filipino ghosts be a, would be there'd okay. There'd be sixty of them. The Mexicans. <laughs> it's a party. There'd it's be a sixty fiesta. ghosts. It's a fiesta every night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be like, oh my god. So many ghosts. But um, <laughs> that was, oh my god, there's so many ghosts here. What is it? No, but they pack a lot. They pack a lot of punch in a, in a house. You walk into a Mexican house, there's like 90 people in there. No, but you're right. Like they're I, always having a fiesta. They're good people. What was that last movie with uh, M Night Shyamalan with the grandparents, the white grandparents? Uh, that one. Like, that's what I think about yeah, the yeah. ghosts of old yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, 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 like yeah, that yeah, feeling. Yeah. They chase you under a crawl space. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. Clean the oven. So, yeah. I don't want to do that. What the fuck is she going? I think she the dog. I think she's moving the dog. Yeah, it's irritating her. So you good? Okay. You're not gonna get the house any house soon. No, we are. We're looking. Oh. I'm sorry. Those. those it's we fine. Have too many, we have officially oh. too many animals. Now, uh, yeah, we have another. Now we have another dog. Now. No, it's mean? not ours. Wait, are you you guys? Is it oh official? Oh my Bobby? god! Is it? Let official? me let me just say yeah, this. Okay. Just get it out there. I'm gonna get it out there, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna get it out <laughs> there. Put it out. <laughs> So we got Remy. Everyone knows. Yeah. Yeah, Remy's ours. So we were we had a puppy that we were fostering. Mm -hmm. Still fostering. Still fostering it. Mm -hmm. We bring it to somebody down s Orange County. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They have out. it for three or four days. Didn't work out. Here's what I'm pissed about. What's the excuse? That we dropped the dog off in Orange County. I drove there. Yeah. They don't want the dog. They drove it back. No. They didn't drive it back. I picked it up. We had to pick it up. What kind of deal is that? Well. No, no, no. There's no well. <laughs> there's All right? And I'm going to say this. I've had enough of this bullshit. Okay? Hey, guy. You should have picked. Guy that took the dog. You should have picked up the fucking dog. I've dropped it off at our house. No, well, they did offer, but they were just, they just couldn't do it the day that. No, do it that day. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do it that day. Take turns. Okay? I just didn't like the reason. What was the reason why? Are you allowed to say? Um. Yeah, like. They were just like, oh, um, he's great. He's really smart. He's so sweet. But turns out I want a bigger dog. And I'm like, you, he's, I already told you he would be no more than 15 pounds. Like, you knew that before I even handed him to you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to talk shit about people because we're not talking shit. We're just saying we're talking. You know, they tried. Maybe it just didn't work out or whatever. But the mm -hmm. second couple that um, over the weekend, Fritter went on a trial and they were great people. 
they just couldn't get their dog to warm up to, to a puppy. And they really wanted Fritter, and but their dog just didn't didn't want to be around a puppy. And I totally get that. But now we're in a situation where it, the problem is, is this. Is last night, I'm sleeping, and Critter, what's his name? Fritter. I call him Fun I call him Fun Fun. No, you call him Run Run. Run Run. Run Run. Run Run. Run Run. Run Run is like, you know, he's on my body sleeping. Yeah. And I kind of woke up, and it, and it kind of touched his little face. And he looked at me, and he goes, makes a little noise. He goes, mm, like that. Mm-hmm. It looks at my eyes, and basically that, mm, you know what that means? What? Dad. Oh, my God. oh, man. You know, he looks at me and goes, Dad. And I go, hi, son. That's not what that means. Yes, it does. Yeah. Fritter has been adopted, everyone. No, no. What oh, I'm saying is, is that, and now we're going to be on a show on A&E called Animal Hoarders or something. <laughs> They're going to do an investigation on us. We're going to have fucking skeletons of old animals in closets and stuff. This is good. This is out of control. Well, we're looking for No, we're not. You're not. You don't. Just know this, woman. <laughs> know that. You know, you, I know you want to be like the Jane Goodall of fucking animals, of, of dogs and stuff, but you're not that. You're a hoarder, okay? And this is your way of like getting me to, because you know that if I get emotionally attached, let me tell you this, if my, I, I get so emotionally attached, if I had children and they did something awful in society, like, you know, when Je- I'm going to say Jeffrey Dahmer's dad, you know, was by his side even during the trial and 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 in prison visited him often. He loved his son Jeffrey. I'm that guy. What if your child? Yeah, my son uh, ate, killed me. What? What if our child killed me? He killed you then. But you still stand by his side. I'd be so sad. He's our kid. I know. Your blood. Me. Well, let's say he had meant to kill you, but accidentally shot me and killed Wait, me. How, first of all, how does that happen? Yeah, how does that happen? Okay, because like I went, like I bodyguard, like Kevin Costner'd you. You know, instead of like you know how the bullet was like about to hit Whitney Houston. Well, if he tried to kill me and he killed you, then I, obviously he doesn't like me, so I would not be on by his side. But if my son was like, stand by my side, even though I ran over ninety Mexicans, yeah, you know, in a truck, I'd just be like, all right, I love you, dude. You know, whatever you need. Yeah. Right or no? No. You what? You should, so your son is sixteen years old. He did something atro- atrocious. Yeah. He's in society. A spawn of the devil, and I'm sorry I birthed him. What if it's like I, I ran over them and I liked it, Dad? Oh, Dad, let's go through that conversation. Dad, I'd like to do it again, I, Dad. I, no, I'm at now. We're at the little. We're at the cubicle, the visiting center where they have the glass thing. I like that with the phone. Yes. Yeah, I've seen that always. The hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the, the hand up like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. What's say, son? What? What do you mean, what? Why'd you run over that family? Dad, can we put our heads down? Why are you the, smiling? All the other inmates <laughs> no, no, no. are looking at us. No, no, no. All the other inmates you know, are Steve, looking at us. Right, first of all, can I just say this? We're doing this little sketch right now. Yeah. Number one, you don't laugh or don't, smile. Don't break. Okay. And you put your hand on the fucking <laughs> window, all right? Be professional. So I'm going to first... Don't... Do, when I'm going to first walk in so you don't put the hand out. You put the hand on there when I put... All right? So go ahead. Now put the hand on now. Son, Dad, why'd you run over that family? Do you want me to be honest? Yeah. I fucking liked it. Dad, your hand. <laughs> <laughs> but you take it out for a second. No, it wasn't because. Were you shocked? No, it was, just, it was hurting. Okay. <laughs> I can't keep it up that long. I have fat hands. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, they just weigh a lot, my arm. Hold up. It really does burn now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how do was, they do that? It was the burning. It was like little. No, because we don't have a window oh, yeah. to, to place it on. I was like, we're, we, were, we're, we were doing a mime window mime. and it was hurting so bad. It burns. Yeah. So next time we do the thing, we have to put a window. Yeah, so you're saying that if your son said, dad, I love the sound of bones crushing. Ooh. No, at that point, I go, my crazy. son has something wrong. But if my son said, dad, I don't know what happened. If it was an accident or... If he killed, like, actually was a serial killer, he had a mental disease. It's like, I don't want to be doing what I want to be doing. I have a disease, mm. you know? Then I'd be like... All right, you get the booty juice every day and you fucking, I chain you to... Like, you know how they did in, like, um, that one zombie movie with um, Simon Pegg? Where, like, his, his best friend basically was Turned chained to his basement. Yeah. And he fed him every day because he loved him. That's what I would do. Let me ask you this. What if this happened? 
we were like at a dog park. Mm-hmm. Gobi bit, you know what I mean? A kid's hand. Uh-huh. The kid loses the hand. Loses the hand. Because he gets an infection That's or an something. Intense bite. And then they say, we have to put Gobi down. Ooh. They have to put Gobi down. I would definitely plead with the family. Cause no, I but would... they know that we plead, we did everything. No, we're putting it down. What would you do? I would probably try to smuggle her to Mexico. Well, there you go. You have the heart too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I'm. That's all I want to know. It's all because, like, right? Okay, like, just so you it. have it too. You have it too. You have the love thing too. Of course, Compassion. of course, I do. Especially if, like, we've had okay. If everything leading up thing. to my my child being a murderer is like good memories, and like he's always been a good kid, and he showed a lot of love, but then one day he just snapped, and then he fucking killed a lot of people. Then I would be like, okay, something is like really wrong with my son mm-hmm. that needs help but i know that deep down he has a goodness in him now if he had shown signs of pure evil from the day he was born yeah i'd be like yeah you know what i uh, see you son yeah. i don't want to be your next victim mm. can you open that for me you first? know what's interesting is who, who the kid that a half asian kid in san bernardino what's his name san bernardino oh no you mean in um, santa barbara santa barbara i mean yeah elliot something yeah the response of his parents which was was actually the right it's just the only response I've ever saw, saw that I went, okay, that's the only way to go. What mm-hmm. was it? The dad, I mean, you know, he was an, a director or assistant yeah. director, right? He felt so shamed by it that he met with other family members, apologized profusely. Wow. He went on a lot of news programs and he was very distraught. And, and, he, and he went, he did everything he could to try to relieve, you know, relieve the, uh, you know, their pain, although you can't do it, but you have to try, you know, like you right. see other parents, they disappear, they, you don't see or hear from them at all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like the dad from, what's the guy, the kid that... Or Virginia Tech, right? No, Virginia, uh, uh, Sandy Hook. That dad, when, when did you see him? Mm. Ever. You don't know what he sounds like. They, they just disappear, they get off, you know, but it's like... I feel like it's your responsibility as a parent to do everything you can to apologize and mm-hmm. it's it's partly your fault. Is it not or no? I've seen I've seen really really horrible children come out of great parenting though. Cuz that's what I fear with us if I'm being honest. I feel like there's going to be an element of genetics that's going to override our good parenting because we come from a our very violent is, and addictive kid, family. You don't even fucking know, babe. <laughs> our kid is going to be pure Basquiat. <laughs> Super smart. Our, our kid is going to be a street hoodlum, heroin shooting, artistic junkie. Our kid is going to, you know, be in a band like the Sex Pistols and die right away, but still, he's going to make a mark. Our kid, or he he gets into science like you with your sciencey head, yeah. You know what I mean? And he like develops like a cure for sickle cell. You know what I mean? Or um, Crohn's. He, really he develops he develops a potion where when women potion. get Crohn's, it doesn't seep into their vagina like sometimes the poo does. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, he's that guy. All the fistula. He's that guy. You have and then, high like, goals for your child. Yeah, I mean, real high goals. Wait, are you kidding me? If you actually like, he could. Fix a fistula is what yeah, you're yeah. saying? Yeah, that's called being genius. I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, then that's but, what, but, that then, but then he, but then he's weird and he hangs himself, whatever. Whatever oh, he God. might. Don't wish that on your child. No, but I'm just saying that it's like when we have a kid, that's also a part of having a kid. It's like it's like buying a lottery ticket. I think successful mm. parenting is like just Let's make see sure. see what happens. Like, <laughs> yeah. Parenting one on one. See what happens. Though. Like, just make sure that you keep them alive. If my kid's alive and not hurting other people, like, I'm like, okay, I've done my job, I think. Because you yeah, just because, don't know sometimes. It's like. Yeah, but you don't. Like, look look at. Uh, who, who's uh, a, a prime example. Who's that kid that I know? Um, he's an actor. He's in uh, Transformers. Shia LaBeouf. Shia, LaB- uh, Shia, LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. That's his name? Yeah, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> like you say, Boof. Like Shia LaBeouf. I know his dad, right? Oh. His dad's like a hippie, long hair, kind of like almost borderline. He looks almost homeless. Mm-hmm. He used to do open mics with me. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. His dad used to. He was like this long haired, really tall, gangly dude who now lives in, 
it, last time I heard, he was living in like a side house that Shia was bought or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But like, you know, DiCaprio comes from hippie families. You know, so you don't what? you don't know what you don't know what's gonna be the combination to create. I know we get it, man. <laughs> George keeps texting him. <laughs> or you know, like George Kimball who wants to take an ad uh, break. We got an right ad now. break. Go yeah. ahead. Okay. Ooh, Lisa Mattress. Ooh, ooh, East Lisa Mattress. One of my favorites of all time. I love Lisa Mattresses, guys. It's the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in. Tell them about it, Gil Gil. Well, well I'll, I'll you tell, tell you me guys. how you slept on it. Yeah, um, babe. Today, Bobby woke up at 5.30 p.m. Classic. And mostly because um, he sleeps on a mattress that he never wants to get off of. It's like sleeping on a cloud, y'all. You like sleeping on clouds? You want to be an angel? I That's what Lisa mattresses are like, man. I want, I want to be an angel. Well, tell him about it, Gil. I will tell him <laughs> about it, guys. Um, just a fun fact, Lisa strives to leave the world better than they found it. But that doesn't mean they stop with mattress donations. Uh, Lisa plants one tree for every mattress they sell and are committed to planting one million trees by 2025. I like that. That's a big deal for me. They invest in the future. So you should invest in the future too. So don't miss this summer savings. Get $160 off a Lisa mattress at lisa.com slash belly. One more time, lisa.com slash belly. Lisa's Lisa. the best. Oh, so amazing. So we, when we, if we have a kid, mm -hmm. we just have to fucking wing it, man. Okay, because I've also seen great people come out of really shitty parenting. So like, what is that, right? It's gambling, lady. I it's know. Vegas. It's Vegas. Yeah, it's uh, Vegas, baby. All day, Vegas. I know, but like our our odds are not good, is what I'm saying. Our odds are good to have a weird one. Yeah. A fucking weird one. So we have to have at least two. So like, one of them is gonna be like. You know, you can introduce them to society while the other one you just keep in a basement, you know? What if this child just comes out so plain Jane? Like, but that's what I'm saying is, is I feel like it's going to skip a generation. Oh, I see. So uh, I'm a drug addict. I had a fucking, you know, yeah, I yeah. swear I'm a bad dude, whatever. Skip. You know what I mean? And then she, you know, went to TJ in high school and had whiskey poured all over her titties and had guys <laughs> lick it off. Why do you allow men to do that? All right. I mean, she's had some shady shit too. Are you trying to shame me for my sexual no, it's fine. adventures? No, I, yeah, yeah. I had a great time in TJ. You think he had a great time in TJ? He did. We all did. I we had all had a great time in TJ. In, I led. So you and I have the wild bug, you know, as a young person. But mm -hmm. maybe we'll have like a Christian kid who believes in Jesus. That would be A's. my nightmare. Because <laughs> I couldn't mother, relate to mother. my kid. Imagine if they would just like, just like paste biblical verses all over their room and no not like that kind and then just wear you know what i mean like like handmaid's garb and stuff no, like a james a vanderbeek oh like, like he's a wholesome. kind of wholesomey christiany you know he you know he's he doesn't like to swear or drink ca caffeine you know what i mean He's just a regular guy. <laughs> no cap. He doesn't drink caffeine. Oh, I know. So I just made it up. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't like, seem like, like he does. natural, pure energy. <laughs> yeah, he's just a nice, pure kind of a guy. What if we have one of those? Yeah. I, well, speaking of him, really quick, he just had a natural. His wife just had a natural. I know child. another one. Heck? Another one. Yeah. I'm gonna text him. Go. This is enough. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it, it drives me. I almost, I, I almost, I almost want to unfollow him. I was now, like, what? Media. It's dumb. Uh, you know? Is that safe? Speaking I don't of know. social media, I have. Uh, I have taken a hiatus from social media, and I have not been on since Saturday. I need a round of applause, please. I, congratulations, baby. Congratulations, congratulations to me, right? Congratulations. Yeah. It was down. making me miserable after we had that conversation with Dylan Francis. I realized after, I was like, you know, it is such a source of misery for me, just like being out there doing nothing but feeling a lot. Well, every time I scroll, I'm like, why the fuck do I feel worse than I did yeah. five minutes ago over nothing, right? Yeah, but I also get a lot of my entertainment from it. Yeah, I cackle yeah. a lot at things, you know, at different sites and whatnot that I follow, you know? So um, I want to talk about what the world is going through right now, which is the World Cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> God. Thank God. I thought you were going to go real <laughs> Yeah, I was like, yeah, that was going to go immigration. Right? I thought you were going to go children. Children. At the separated oh, from yeah. the parents. Yeah. No, no, no. Immigration, separation. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. Although. <laughs> <laughs> Politics with Bobby Lee. <laughs> no, it's it's awful what's happening there yeah, on the border. Yeah, it's sad. Um, but you know what? The they, they, got one, they got one up, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Mexico did something. 
people don't if you're not if you don't know soccer right you have to understand that the german team it's not that just they're just good they have um a lot of superstars on their team they're like all superstars. celebrities like yeah. guys that are the best at what they do and they get paid the most yeah and they have just they're like the new york yankees right they uh, have just soccer. killers on that team right um, half the teams from Bayern Munich, the, the club, yeah, uh, Arsenal Mexico has Ozil. one guy, Ozil, you know, so they have great talent. Mexico has a couple of fading stars, Chicharito, two maybe, oh. but the rest of them play in like Wait, Mexican they have Vela. leagues. Yeah, but he plays in the LA, t you know, so, team, yeah. you know, yeah, so MS, yeah, MLS, MLS, yeah. So, um, but what they did was, um, a miracle. To hold them to a one zero win. That's crazy. And then them finding a you know, they created an earthquake. Mm hmm An art of a, a recorded earthquake in Mexico City when they scored. <laughs> That's a they thing. They actually yes. recorded real seismic activity. A seismic activity, activity. in Mexico. Because when they, they celebrated so hard. What? Yeah. People are jumping up and down so, <laughs> so hard. <laughs> It's creating the earth to crack. I feel like that's what I feel like LA felt that too because I think that, you know, if you've never come to LA, if you've never been here, like it's just Mexicans and Koreans. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those are my two teams this World Cup, those two underdogs, although Korea lost. Yeah, you didn't see any seismic activity in Korea this morning <laughs> because they played like a bunch of fucking yellow monkeys. Jesus <laughs> what the heck? I'm so ashamed of being Korean right now. You can, you you know you oh god, get it together. Your speed, nothing. But can, can, did you hear about the Swedish team sending yeah, out spies. spies to their train their closed training sessions? Yeah. Did you hear about yeah, that? Yeah, I know and about it. And how the Swedish team had to apologize for you know, um, basically. But then like one of their spies like rented a home outside of like their training facility yeah, or something. Pretended he was a tourist. And what did the, yeah. the and the Korean coach goes, "Oh, they're not gonna know anyway because they can't tell us apart." That's Your, exactly Europeans what he said. Can't tell us apart. Yeah, he, the coach was like, "Don't hey, worry." Hey, Bryce, why can't white people tell us apart? Wait, wait, it's the the coach. The coach of said, the Korean team. "We're not worried because no, it's I'm not one, like they I, can I, tell Let me us say apart. something right now, dude. I'm tired of you white motherfuckers not being able to tell us apart. Do you know what I get? I get sometimes. What? Love your DJing. <laughs> I go. Who do you think I am? You're Steve Aoki, right? There's a bigger problem. If they think you're Steve Aoki, there's a bigger problem with this person. No, <laughs> no, 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 there's, no. There's no, the problem on. is within you. <laughs> the problem is, you know, it's it's like either you guys just stare at white people, your other white people, too long, right? You guys are just used to. But you, when it comes to us, you guys think that I'm like, you know, other celebrities or, you know what I mean? Or That's a compliment, Bobby. You have a, you have a famous look. You look famous. You do look famous. If I, yeah, if I never do. met you, you the street, I, that, that guy's famous. I wouldn't know who you are. What? How? how? So you grab the first famous name in your head. Oh, oh, yeah. This oh, is oh, the should... guy from Goonies. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Asian guy in Goonies? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking I about? Yeah. Name. Oh, I've never What's his name, Data in it? Or no? I've never seen Goonies. Oh, you didn't see you Josh, never saw Goonies? You didn't see Josh mm -hmm. Brolin? There's also a few movies that everyone keeps talking about, but I never chime oh, in because that's I'm what too embarrassed. That is to, like, what we're watching tonight. tonight. <laughs> to tell people that's I've never ridiculous. seen it. That's ridiculous. You Rascals? have to see Goonies. I, of course I've seen Little That made it to the Philippines. I'm pretty sure Goonies did too. I was just, I never watched it. But, yeah, so, the, so wait, they couldn't, but I thought they switched jerseys too. Is that not No, they started swapping players, and then after that, I think the coach realized that he was like, you know what, they can't even tell us apart, so who cares? Yeah. I you guys you you know get you, you call the white president whoever that leads your organization. James uh, Van Der Beek. Uh, 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 James Oh James Van call James Van Der Beek. Of identifying yeah, minorities yeah. and and ask him we got to get you know classes. Just memorize what uh, okay we yeah we have round yellow faces. Not all. I know, but a lot of it a lot of it is all right. But there's a little bit different like diff, you know like my nose is positioned differently on my face. Just try to memorize our faces Bryce, a little bit more. What's the one distinct different feature from Bobby and Steve? Five, four, three, two, one. Skinny, fat, short, <laughs> tall, long hair, short hair. Oh, the face, what about face, the face? Thin face. face. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Who's good. fat? <laughs> yeah, who's fat? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> what an asshole. It's, it's Laurel and Hardy. You're Laurel and Hardy of, of the Asians, yeah. Oh, my God. 
I also want to thank all the people from San Francisco and Seattle coming to my show. You guys sold those shows out, and I can I cannot be more appreciative. Also, on top of that, I'd like to apologize. Some people coming up to my show. I had a couple of new jokes. I should get more jokes out there, but um, what but what the what the the point of you guys coming to the show is so we can be with each other mm-hmm. and exchange juices and energies. What is it called again? Fellowship. Fellowship. Mm. And I, I like to hug you. And a lot of people I met <coughs> in San Francisco, and there was a lot of good hugs. I do have a stalker out there. In San Francisco? In San Diego. Ooh, oh, tell us about it. My manager keeps calling me. There's this girl that's stalking you. She calls me 20 times a day. I don't know how the fuck she got my cell phone. But she's like, Give me in, get me in touch with him now. I, he, I am Tiger Belly. Wait. That's what she says. That I'm a part of it. You know what's uh And I'm like, what? That's not your only stalker. I think Gilbert George and I intercept a lot of very similar messages from very Nails. unstable people, yeah. both male and female. Well, like give me an example of one. Um well, so we have this guy who who used Facebook? to incessantly uh Facebook and Twitter oh, who wow. used to probably get me on your show, get me on your show, which some people do on occasion. Yeah. But this person was so insistent upon it that he would tweet us like like 50 times a day. That's not a stalker. I think this person, right, wants to get in touch with me and then like use my skin as a jacket. Well, what gives <laughs> you that? What else has she done other than just call she, 20 she, times? I don't know. She's just, some of the texts, it's in the other room, but one of the te- she sends me texts to my manager. My name, This is my Korean name and then half the messages in Korean, which I can't even... Yeah, read. Yeah, he can't read Hangul. Right, and then a lot of it is like sporadic and doesn't make any sense. Like I am Tiger Belly. I need it. Yeah, it's you know, like, let, let me be inside it. Whoa. Yeah, 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 I you know, have him call me now. Stuff like that. Um, that I don't think that. Yeah, you're you're. It sounds like you're the fix a fixation of somebody going through a very manic psychotic breakdown and oftentimes yeah, but I'm there's in always a psychotic a point. breakdown constantly no but my point is is that if this person i just want to let this person they're listening right now i'm a mess i don't know what i'm doing my back hurts my neck hurts right i, I i'm confused half the time when i wake up i don't know what's going on should i fear for my life like what if she thinks like she's entitled to this throne is this a throne? I mean, this red chair. Yeah, well, it is. Like, what if she's like, oh, like, I need to be the co-host and then I end up getting killed. I need to be Bobby's girlfriend. Would you have her on the show after I die? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> if that, and this is the truth. If that happened, she comes to the house, right? Yeah, yeah. With knives. She oh. disguised, I'm not home. She disguised as like Uber or something. Uber this Eats. Is I don't know. scaring me. <laughs> She gets in the house, and then she's like, "You're sleeping," and she sticks fifty knives knives inside your vagina. Mine, oh, yeah. So specific. And then you bleed out. Yeah. Okay. And then I get a call. I'm on the road. I get a call. Some woman came in and stabbed Kalila's vagina to death. I'd be like, "What?" That that'd be my first response. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like I'm so sorry. And then I would probably go into like shock right mm-hmm. and then I would probably figure out how to get home right away mm-hmm. and then I would probably end up you know going through you know, obviously the plea if they catch the person or not hey, or, you don't sound very sad right I am now. sad I'm, yeah. did you hear what he said for you yeah, yeah. That, that's like a a, a pretend like I no, have, because it's not it didn't happen I don't want him to think I'm a suspect so I'm gonna do this fake crime. no that's not, that didn't happen it didn't, oh. that's not what it was I'll do it again. Hey, like you that? be the cop. Uh, Mr. Lee. What? We, uh, I, didn't, I didn't say anything yet, but why did your voice go up? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a second. That would, be, yeah, that, that <laughs> that would, would give you a That way. would be suspect, huh? That you're if I started crying before, I let's play that out. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. What? Lee. Why, why are you crying? I'm not crying. I was just about to tell you. This is my your, regular voice. No, I was just about to tell your girlfriend I was going to. She died. She died. <laughs> All right, you, need to turn. you have to be like in her vagina yeah. before you even oh, yeah, does yeah. it. So, so no, what I would and then I'd come back and then just listen, okay? And then I would be completely, we, we, you know, the funeral, everything, and I'd probably ended up giving the animals away. 
you know, I would call Quindo and go, "You take, can you please help me with Remy and Gobi?" And then the cats, I'd say, "Steve, you can live in my house, but um, you have to take care of the cats uh-huh. for the rest of their lives." Oh, wow. And then I would probably just take all my money out of all my bank accounts and get cash, and I would go into the desert and I would fucking drug out until I passed it like overdosed. Oh, I wow. wouldn't want you to do that. That's exactly what I do, though. No, you have to live in. No, no, no. Empty. I can't live with it. I would not be able to live with it. They would. I, I would be in like in the desert, in some fucking shack, but, just with needle marks, and, and then I'd be. Just, I'd die. I would feel like I would have died in vain then. If well, then you died not, in vain. Like if you did not like continue to be a happy person, I would. Oh yeah, that, 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 you you can't move on with that. I mean, I want you to be sad for like at least three years. Okay, Bobby gets stabbed in the penis twenty times. Cop. Well, he's still alive though. You're not gonna. <laughs> was he bleeds to death or is he okay, just he ble- dickless he now? He bleeds to death. Also, what now? What's your life? What's your life? My life. I would mourn. What would it for sound? What would it sound like? What would it sound like? <laughs> Yeah, that's the sound then, real. Like, I mean, are you a, a muppet? Are you a like muppet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't even be able. You wouldn't even hear a sound because you know that kind of cry where you're like, you're not breathing because oh, okay. the air is out of your lungs. <laughs> you're like, and then like every every thirty seconds it comes I out. That. Um, I would try to find little pieces of his dick that I can immortalize. And what? Like, and like, that's and your like first a trophy. <laughs> well, that's you can have a microscope or something because <laughs> imagine my dick. <laughs> Well, it's already little, right? See so it. you, it's like microscopic pieces, and you like, put them together like it's like. I would dedicate my life to learning how to like sculpt human meat, and I would put it back together. I would like dedicate like ten thousand hours. I would sit there, like you know, with Tony Collette, her little like dollhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's and I would your just thing. sit there, and I would try to like gorilla glue it back together. Interesting. And then what would you do with my dick? It's and a trophy I now. Would just, yeah, now I would like I would create like you know in boxing Helena. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would just create a shrine with your like little penis, and I would offer it food every day. I would like, like give it a little suck. You're gonna worship his penis. I'll go like this, babe. Look, look. No, you oh, wouldn't. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. Just a little, little, like that. And then what would happen? And then what after the? Are you what getting would... turned on from this? Yeah, I'm <laughs> hot on. That was great. Yeah, and then I would. I would like... do. I would you suck my ghost dick if I came back and haunted you? Mm-hmm, I would. You would fuck my ghost. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's as long interesting. as you like, still look sort of the same. Like, if you come back and you try to scare me and shit, you oh, wouldn't no. be able. You to know what I would do? What? Any guy that you fucking saw after me? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You'd scare him. No, but if he's fucking you, I'm fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> like he'll be uh, he'll be fucking you, and he'd be like, "There's something in my butthole." Kalila, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's my fucking ghost. I think it's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ghost and then you'd be like, that's weird. I can't be a part of this. Oh my god! And you'll should... never, you'll <laughs> never see. Anybody. We should have a movie. We should create a movie instead of Ghost Dad. Yeah. Ghost Dick. Ghost Dick. Ghost. That should be a genre on porn. Yeah. yeah. Ghost Dick. I feel Next like people, that would be a hit. Yeah. yeah. Pornhub. I would do that. Yeah. You would never see anybody. Hmm. I probably I, wouldn't I, want I, to. I, I have a feeling if I died in six months, you'd see somebody else. Six months. Six months. Six Year? months. Year. No. Yeah, years. you don't know feeling. me. You do not know me. Ooh. You don't know my level of grief. I I grieve deeply. You would fuck though, just to uh, get it out. Fuck, you know? Would I fuck? No. You I think just... that I think that I would probably enter like a fucking like Depression, convent yeah, yeah. and probably like become mute and never speak again or oh something like gosh. that. I wouldn't fuck either. Mm-hmm. I believe that. <laughs> You'd fucking like two and a half hours. No way. No, two and a half hours. I think there's a very fine line between grieving, like feeling feeling grief and feeling horny. I think there's like some like I think I, I think this I could possibly see this. <laughs> well, you guys are we're really in, going we're in deep. dangerous. We're in a dangerous, dangerous territory, guys. Yeah. We're in a very dangerous territory. Very dangerous. But I could see six months from now. Like let's say you died. And oh my god, this is so dangerous. Seven months. This is the only scenario. I think you said four years. <laughs> right? What? I think you said four years. Yeah, four years four from years. now. Four years from now. Right? I'm in my a house. I'm in whatever. I'm here or whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? And then like, um, you know that lady that babysits our, um, our animals? When we're <laughs> You'd fuck her? No, 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 no. A wag person? She is, she is great. She's great. She's you know great. she makes? No. She's a great animal mom. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, yeah. But she's like a, 
you know, she's a nice lady. No, I was talking to the other one that we dropped him off. That older, like, buff one. We had an older buff lady. <laughs> yeah, we would drop it off animals? on a La Brea over there. An older Formosa. buff lady. Motherfucker, I don't know what the <laughs> hell what, you're talking off, about. When we, when we, when we <laughs> drop off Gobi, when we go on vacation, we drop it off at that house on Formosa. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Yeah, that militant, like, 70-year-old lady. I would get, like, a hand job from her. Is all I was gonna say. She's like an she, but she also was like an ex, like um, marine or something. No, no, you know those um, competitive um, weightlifters. Yeah, bodybuilder. Oh, like a bodybuilder. So she's defined. Yeah, so she's if she's like, I'll, I'll jerk, I'll, I have so her she's jerk. She's like him, a yeah. thick neck. That's all. Oh, that was good. That's just from her though. I don't know what's going on, but... <laughs> babe. Let's okay. You know what? What? I think that um, we probably gave your stalker. Way too much information and way True. too many gro- weird ideas. Yeah, and that we should love. This little just lady, just don't don't do anything. Just uh, stop. If you love Bobby, yeah. If you love me, stop. Fucking keep your distance. Keep the distance, you know. I'm not. I'm your friend. Definitely don't kill me. <laughs> I'm uh, your friend. Bryce is single, so that's an option. <gasps> oh, crazy. Wait, wait. What happened to that girl? I love crazy girls. Wait, you're still with um your girlfriend, right? No. They I, just, what? What? I just learned what? this right now. No, like, what happened? What happened? Oh my god. Did it work go- out? It's it's hard. I've never lived with one before and it's tough. Oh my god. No, but right. what happened? No, no, it it didn't work out. You should leave it at that, Bobby. It's not everyone's We argued no one... every day and That's a couple times a day and it didn't work out. Yeah. Wow. Living yeah. together, especially in, in small house? confines, is a very is very detrimental yeah. to any relationship. I, I don't care how much you love somebody; it just doesn't work. I learned a lot about myself. Yeah. Good. So, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Kalila, Kalila and I, I mean, there is there's a little bit of you can feel there's a little bit of resentment, not resentment, but From I can you? tell when she's in a bad mood or I annoy her or whatever, and so you have to learn to kind of. You know, soldier on, soldier on, and just get through whatever they're going through. You couldn't do that with this girl. Like uh, when people say I we argued, Kalai and I never argue. It's basically like she's like I'm annoyed, oh, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or like no, I'm just you know, and I can go. Oh, I'll just go in the other room then. Or like I remember when I said today I go I'm gonna go play f- a Far Cry with Steve at yeah. a co-op. There was a little bit of, she's like, all right, well, I guess I'll see you later then. No, I said, I'll see you never. Never or whatever. Passive aggressive. And that tone I could tell was like, you know, I could go, what does that mean? How is that passive aggressive? I, I was making is. a very clear point. No, no, I'll yeah, see you that, never. Right, so I could say, but just, that's that's actually, that's I could say, <laughs> what does that mean? Would you start a fight? But this is what I do. I go, I'm going to play. She goes, oh, I'll see you never then. Okay, I guess you'll never see me. Oh, I'll hear another... see you never, but hear you forever. <laughs> yeah, that's my point is, is I don't I don't start confrontations because those feelings subside. Oh, so you're the hero in this story? I'm definitely the hero. Oh my god. <laughs> he's he's Leo. Yeah, because he's Leo. Fuck my, my fucking... Because I'm gonna say this right now out loud and this is gonna start a fight, maybe. There's nothing that you do that makes me mad. Oh my god. You're so full of shit. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing you do that annoys me. Kyle, listen. Because I keep the house clean. It I doesn't feed matter. You. Whatever I... it might be, it does it there's nothing there. Oh, you're so full I of shit. I don't know. I when's the last time I was like, I'm mad at you? Uh, Never. Uh, you're right, I'm pretty perfect. Yeah, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. There are things that I could, but I just don't. Right? So my point is is that I, there is really, I'm the honest opinion, and my honest feeling is that there's nothing. But everything that I do annoys the fuck out of her. Okay, but let me I hear. In the past, and that's been every relationship. Have you never? So you're saying you could have lived with all of them forever? No, no. So have you ever told them like, okay, yeah, that annoys me? No. So wait, the first relationship because there are things in other relationships. I know what you're getting at. There's things in the other relationship. That there was something that was kind of always there, and I always knew. I always knew this. There's a ticking time bomb on this, mm. right? And it will go off. But with this, there isn't that because we've been six years almost, right? But I also that's kind of scary if you're not communicating. If you're not communicating to me how you really feel, because I, I, there, it literally is nothing that you do that makes me mad. I'm going lobster diving. Good, go. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna go somewhere with the beach with the so and so and hike. Good, good, go. Yo. 
You know, I'm sleeping early. Good. <laughs> I'm doing my own thing. Good. I don't give a fuck. It really doesn't bother me. But me, I'm playing co-op mode with Steve. <laughs> Oh, Bobby, Bobby, yeah. go, Bobby, go hike with me. Yeah, yeah. What? I don't oh. want to go. Oh. Oh, so it's still. That. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's always that. Like if I said to her, "Hey, I have to go to Dane Cook's house for a barbecue," and she goes, "I don't want to go," I'd be like, "All right, don't go." Yeah, but do I give you sh grief for ever going anywhere? But I if I don't go somewhere with her and she wants me to go, then that's the where the grief is. Yeah, but also, I don't restrict your life ever. You don't. No, you're like, right. Like, anytime... She's the easiest one in terms of, like, you know, she really is the easiest one in terms of, like, um, things that I can get away with. Oh, my God. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what can, what have you, <laughs> you found a keeper. You found a keeper. What the hell, Bobby? What have you been doing? <laughs> no, things I can get away with. Like, oh, I could play... So much more video games. <laughs> oh, okay, her. good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that's what Or, like, that's you know, I can, like... Um, you know, I, you know, things like that. <laughs> so mysterious. Yeah, that's a little vague. No, it's not vague. What else have you gotten away with? Farting in no, your face. No, I've never, if sleep. you're getting at anything sexual or anything like that, no. no, no. Right? What I'm saying is, is that, the sleeping even. Like my brother, uh, my brother, you know, his fights a lot with Ailani is sure. sleeping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like she, he will, whenever he wakes up late, it just, Starts a fight. What time do I wake up today? Mm, Five thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. All my girlfriends. That would be a problem. And, and I think that they probably had a very good point. They wanted to spend a portion of their day. With I'm magical. You. I know. And I'm. A dream. I, think that, I, I, I live um, in the dream. I get it. Look, I'm not saying that I always had the patience for that. And I think what Ilani is going through is probably what I went through the first two years in my relationship with you. There's a point at which you just stop giving a fuck because it's exhausting to and give a fuck. And that's what I told my brother. Hang and in there. Keep doing what you're doing. I can't change either that Either she'll about bend him. or she'll break. Yeah, but like... <laughs> Good, healthy advice <laughs> yeah. from Big Brother Lee. And just hear me out, Bryce. I, I think I'm... I love you. Come on, babe. This is just... That's the most horrible thing I, to yeah, say. Yeah, bend or break. But my point is, is this, okay? <laughs> what you're doing is the wrong thing, right? What you do is this. You avoid those... Because they, they're... They're spontaneous and they dissipate. What? Like little quarrels that people have when they live with each other. Mm -mm. Like you don't put the cap on the fucking toothpaste. That bothers me. Right? I had a girlfriend that did that. Okay, you can't do and that. I'd be like, you can't sweat the small stuff. You I would, sweat I would the just big ignore stuff. that she even said that. Yeah. Okay, this is the dumbest thing I, I've ever you, heard. You know why I'm not like that? Because I don't like when I'm being nagged. Right. My mother was a big nagger. Every little detail of my room, my life, every corner I turned, she had com like a running commentary. So I, I don't like it when people do it to me. So however the fuck people, whatever style they want to live, I don't give a shit. I have to really look at it objectively and say, you know what? That's just how they do it. This is how I do it. Now, if you encroach on my fucking line, I don't. And you fuck up my things. No, that's a problem. You can go lobster hunting, whatever little adventures that you want to do. Do your Laura Croft shit. <laughs> like go go in the tombs, go. explore whatever you need. I'm not doing that. Now, but I'm so happy that you that you want to do it, and I support it. I support. There's you nothing too. that you do that bothers me. Not a single thing. You know what? What? There is. I want you to change. <laughs> I want you to Be How did he flip this whole thing around? How did he do that? Just bend a little more, babe <laughs> <laughs> Don't break, just bend Just bend, yeah, just yeah. little bend uh, You gotta bend, babe because, <laughs> because, you know, at the end of the day, you know uh, You know, I'm sober for a long time <laughs> I quit smoking, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I've am I'm. never, I would never cheat on you I don't even, f even talk to people, mm -hmm. okay? I do a lot, all right? Bend how would you like me to bend more? In just, what way? Just bend more. I mean, how? You will know when you get there. <laughs> right? At this point, When I you're like, I'm about to snap, bend. Maybe I should just bend. <laughs> right? Now, Bryce, I have a question for you. In the beginning of the first uh, oh, six man. months of your relationship, did you look at her and say, you know what? This could be my life partner. Did you have those true feelings of like, this could be it? Yeah, absolutely. With this, with this girl, I've never... I've. I've had opportunities to live with girls before, and I've always mm -hmm. said no. This is mm -hmm. the first time. Is like there's something more here, and I want mm -hmm. to pursue it. And 
boy, living with, with a girl is really difficult. I Or anybody, not just a girl. I'm telling well, you, living anybody, with yeah, anybody that that's, isn't family is very difficult. Yeah. Well, and we were in the same room. It was very... Yeah, that's what living together time. is, you fucking cocksucker. Yeah, but you they also live, live with other people. Yeah, we have roommates and stuff. But George. I never had a situation where we were in the same room every day. It's a small room. I There's no escape. You're very right. small. So, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. We're here all day, every day together. <laughs> you know? And mm. then... Right, but I don't rely on you for my happiness. That's a, I also don't rely on you for mm. a constant companionship. And I think the difference was mm. she's not from L.A. She moved to L.A. That was right. hard. Right, so was... he he was mostly her connection, like friendships yeah. and all of that is everything was through him. So that's difficult because I have my own set of friends aside from you. And I can run to them for companionship. So that's that's I think is a very she, here's another thing that helps. OK, is is that she has a sister, her mom, people always over here, which I love because I love I love them as they don't. They're so just they feel like my family in a weird way. Like when I see her mom, I can punch her from behind. <laughs> or kick her, you know Hashtag what I mean? Tag family, you know, or like you know, we can tease. Like if I have an acne on my face, her mom will go, "What is that? Wash your face." You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like we joke around, and I have that. It's great. I've never had in this house life. This place has always been death in this particular building. Mm -hmm. You mean the 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 months and years of being here single? Imagine You're just be by myself. Make me cry. I think why? That's like one of the nicest things I've ever heard. Yeah, being alone, you know, <laughs> alone and being, now you have, I have. You have to hug me. Why, 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 why? 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 That's why? the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Why? They're hugging. Uh, While they're hugging. So nice. Take a look at this tiger belly mug yeah, yeah, that yeah, I'm holding. Yeah. Yeah. That's so nice. Ben, bitch, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, Bobby, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm honestly I know like you having are. a moment. Why? Uh -huh. Catch her tears in this. So mug. it's like it's like <laughs> catching my tears <laughs> just, in her new tiger, tiger belly mug. There's, yeah, there's uh, you know, with even with the animals, there's just life in this house. So um, you know, it's perfect for me. It's beautiful. My walk in, it's always a wine sister, or mother. There's always something going on here, and the animals. Yeah, just, yeah it's yeah, very yeah. warm. I think that's all I ever wanted was, you know, a partner that felt like both a lover and family. Yeah. I didn't have I don't have to make excuses for him. He can be his most authentic self and they just really enjoy him. The monster that he is, oddly enough, they really love him. And they 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 wrestle, they fucking sword fight, they do weird things and I just I'm just a spectator to the love they have for each other. It's so weird. I truly love her family. Like I when your mom remember when she got the Rice stuck, her, <laughs> stuck, her rice throat. stuck in her throat. Do we ever talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we have. We have. Have we? Oh, shit. Choking on rice. Um, oh, yeah, 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 we did. The Asian choking on rice. Honestly, I mean, I, I think about if it got, if the worst thing happened. Mm -hmm. What if she died in my house? Oh, what? Why yep. you gotta outcry me? I'm not outcrying you. I'm just saying that that would be so terrible. It would be. It would be fucking terrible. It would have been mm. a, a devastating, life altering event of epic proportions. That's why I think the shock was so real. You know? So, um, and I, I can't say that about a lot of girlfriends' family. <laughs> Shout out to the exes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like them and stuff, right? But there really is, um, there really is love there, you know. And um, that's why it's like, you know, when, like, even like if we went, to, it's gonna sound weird, but even when we went to we went to Hawaii, right? And we had that first meal. It was like eight hundred dollars, and I paid for it. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to. I know, but I'm just saying. I wanted to, but if it was any other girlfriend's family, <laughs> I would have been like, split "Hey, so split the tab." So hey, at least get the tip. Mm. Yeah. Or you know, or hey, you got the uh, two orders of the calamari, so you're gonna have to pay for that part. You know what I mean? 
but with with them it's like no this is like what i would do with, for my own parents it felt that like comfortable and i need to do it i need to provide you but know you need to everyone has good jobs i'm just saying though I, in that <laughs> scenario with her family i feel like i need to provide that's so sweet yeah yeah um just bend a little <laughs> just a little, a little bit. bit more i'll bend it'll be nice hey, I'll, now, tell, I'll tell that next girl just just bend a little bit more Advice. No, but here's the thing: what you're doing wrong is that you can avoid those trivial little th confrontations. Now, Bryce, would you say that um, that what this past breakup was the biggest heartache of your life, or, or have there been bigger heartaches in the past? Yeah, I think each relationship I've had, I'm, I'm getting better at understanding. I'm getting better at understanding what I look for in a girl and mm -hmm. what works. And this girl definitely affected me the most. Mm. Absolutely. Now, if if you, even if she was the most perfect person, let me tell you, living in those small confines, it wouldn't have worked either. I feel like it was a, I feel like a lot of it was my part, but also the situation was just bad. Mm -hmm. it just, tricky. It was bad, yeah. Yeah, tricky. Yeah, man, it's tricky. But Ben, ben more, I, I agree. Fuck, can you bend too, dude? I bend. I'm all bend. I'm all bend. I'm a circle. He's a squid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, no I, bend I, or yeah, break. There is no bend or there break. There is no joints. He's just squid. He's flexible. I'm so flexible. But she yeah. did introduce Stardew Valley to Alani, and Alani introduced it. That's to true. You. What I mean, a great contribution. I'm not. Just, I'm not down. I'm not. I. I am bummed that you're yeah. not dating her anymore. Yeah, she was great. That's so she crazy. She introduced me to yeah. a fucking farming world, man. I, I Stardew Valley. I I hated on it, but then she like you just gotta try it. And I did, and I loved it. I played. Well, Are you kidding me? I. I saw how much long I played on it. I played for 24 days straight, 24 hour circle cycle. That's what it says on the machine. Damn, the game so, is dangerous. Yeah, so I played for I don't know how many that hours that is. <laughs> That's a whole... But imagine 24 hours a day, 24 days, and you know. That's insane. Oh, I, you don't even they because I they calculate Fallout and and all those other games. I hate that they track that stuff. I oh, they tracked me on, there. I think Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Mm -hmm. That's log. That's like I played log for maybe like forty-eight days straight. <laughs> straight, fifty days. Like no, I mean I would sleep, but it would calculate. You know, what I mean the hours I played, and that's what it was. Oh, Destiny! Oh my God! It was like we, me and Eric, we, the number was so high that we almost wanted to kill ourselves. <laughs> We said we could have wrote three scripts in that time. <laughs> but the pleasure of playing. Outbeats any Oscar you could have, right? It really does. <laughs> it really does. My brother and I were playing Far Cry today, and um, we were climbing this cliff yeah. together. You know, it was one of those prepper statues that you had to climb a bunch of shit. Yeah. And you have to swing on these ropes, and you have oh, to time it. Yeah, I know right? that one, yeah. And I make it, and I see my brother goes, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, right? And you see his character just fall <laughs> down, <laughs> right? A thousand feet and just get cr die. And then I'm laughing, you know, right? <laughs> and my brother's going, I'm dead, I'm dead. I go, you don't even know how to do that. <laughs> it's the, Those moments in video games are so fun. And Fallout 76 is going to be that. It's going to ruin me. When does it come out? In October. Well, we have a, a new lot. house by then. November, yes, for sure. Okay, great. Then I'm fine. I will bend. I mean, but that thing is going to be six people. I'll be fucking all bent. I'll be con it. professional yeah. contortionist yeah, by yeah. then. Okay. <laughs> good, good. I'll be doing all yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Bend your exorcist. What do you Just call it? What do you call the movie? The um, um, where the dude wakes up in her dorm room and she's like in a different. She's all like contorted and stuff. Exorcist? It's like Emily Rose or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh yeah. The girl from Dexter. I know what you're yeah, we about. know. We know. You know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm bent, baby. Um, so um. So who are your teams for World Cup? So I get. This I, I, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm done. So Korea's done, and then. Wait, Korea's not done. I, I know, but I'm, I can't watch them play again. It's so humiliating. I think I'm Mexico I think, all the I did, way. I'm England. I'm England. Mexico. England, Mexico. Mexico. England, Mexico. I'm, yeah, Costa Rica. Those. But they're not doing. Cost, right. Costa Rica just lost. I know it's terrible. The one chance they they got against Brazil next. Oh man, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, wait, who's in the bracket of Costa Rica? Uh, Brazil. You I know, but the two others. Sur Are they with Portugal? They Serbia last. Spain is with Portugal. No, they're not because. They're playing Brazil. Serbia then... won, right? Yeah. They beat uh, Peru? Who did. Oh, anyways. Anyways. Fuck it. Mexico all the way. Mexico or England. 
England really? They always fucking fail. They never yeah, win okay, a big tournament. Okay, I, I want an, I want a, 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 a better understanding of this. So I looked at the England squad today, and every player on there is a 22, 23 year old from either Man City, Man U, fucking Jamie Vardy, um, basically every standout in the Premier League, right? Fucking Raheem Sterling, Henderson, all these guys. Why is it that they cannot get it together for the World Cup? Yeah, but they don't have they don't have all the best guys. They still you have to think that Wayne Rooney could still do it. He didn't retire. Oh, yeah. He just didn't. They didn't want him. Um, Jack Wilshire, um, Theo Walcott. Uh, there's a lot of guys that aren't playing that weren't invited that were like in their mid twenties to late. You know, so. So you think it's a choice of having really young players? What they're trying to do, and I get what they're doing, is. What made Manchester United what they were under Sir Alex Ferguson was their youth system. So when Giggs, Scholes, Beckham, all those guys, Nicky Butt, they were all from the same generation and they all made it to the first team at 8, 17, 18, 19 years mm -hmm. old and they grew together. And then the, young Cristiano Ronaldo was, then was added on, mm -hmm. young Nani, they were these young kids and they played together for so long that they knew each other. When you play with somebody for that long, you know where they're gonna pass it, you know their pace, you know what they're thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's what made Manchester United so unbeatable back in their reign. They won like what, four or five Premier Leagues together, mm -hmm. two Champions Leagues, you know? And I think that that's what their thought processes with this is we use a young team we might not win it this year but next time build it we'll build it and that's a very good that kid rashford all these kids from man U, they're what he's 19 yeah these kids are young yeah and I so it's, like, it's exciting i think jamie vardy's the oldest one there right yeah and he deserves it because he's um you know he's a scrapper yeah Go Mexico all the way. Yeah. Lozano didn't even know who he was before. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. And then, um, and let's just hope that um, Paul Manafort's in prison. Oh my God, we're going politics. No, I'm now. just saying, just well, I'm going to add a couple of things. Paul Manafort's in prison. Yeah. And, um, you know, hopefully there are good signs when it comes to that. Do we have a um, qu question at the end? That well, we, how what are we at time wise? We are over an hour. We did it, babe. Can't believe it. Yeah. I can't Just believe it. Cried and everything. On helpful advice with Bobby and Kalila. Hi, uh, check your email because it's a picture. Oh, okay. Hi, so for the past year I've been single due to my wife and I separating. I've been on the dating apps not too long after the separation, and although I've had some success with these apps, it's not as much as I would have wanted with long droughts with no replies. I was thinking it might have to do with some of the things I put on my profile that maybe early thirty somethings might not find appealing. So my question is, is it okay to lie on my profile to appeal to more women? I am 31 with a management job in retail, separated, an atheist, have has children, and smokes regularly. No, Should I lie you, in all smoking, these you can't put in there. That takes out 40%. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, you have to say that you're a little younger. Here, That's here. what I did. Picture, he picture, says, picture. or am I just Should ugly? the mustache or no? Or, it, or am I just ugly? Here's a picture you're for you You're not ugly. To you're definitely not ugly. You're definitely not ugly. You're a different type of Gardo. But you're kind of, you're, yeah, you're a different kind of Gardo. <laughs> different kind of, different type yeah. of Gardo. Is there other photos here? I think he's That's a it. handsome guy. That's it? Yeah. He looks very formal, though. I wonder where he's going to. Jersey. Like, you should have more, ho like, you should go for the more homeless look and then not give a fuck look like Bobby does. <laughs> It's not even just that the photo is if that's his profile pic. Yeah. No, that's not good. Okay, enough. here. Let me. Can I just say what something from do, a girl's perspective? Yeah. Like my first thing is, never put a mirror selfie. Yeah. If yeah. you want to attract the good ones, this right here is a big fucking no no. No gym shots and definitely no mirror selfies. It is it it even though you could be the nicest guy ever, just on principle alone, I would swipe left. I don't know why. It's just something that doesn't like sit well with me. I'm like, mm, that's so like, it gives an air of like, oh, he's kind of like full of himself. Like, Hold a dog. That? Hold a dog. Oh my God, that's such a big thing. Yeah. Also, be with a dog. Also, in your other profile pics, you have to be doing things that seem exciting. Not just bathroom selfies. 
That's uh, a that's a huge one for me. Like for instance, idea. what did you put on yours? I mean, I I, I told uh, this is so gross, like, but I told Eric Stone. I went to Eric Stone's his house. Yeah, and told him what he needs to be doing. I go, just be barbecuing with your f- most famous friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you you know you paint a life. Yeah. That's yeah. not real. It's it's all fake, right? You're hooking them in. You're fishing, right? So what I do is I make it seem like, you know. This is daily life for me. You know, Bobby barbe- has a point because picnicking on a mountain. Yeah, you <laughs> hand, you hand have gliding. a point because you're never gonna be able to portray who you really are, your most authentic self. You're on a piece a of shit. Dating, well, we all are. We all are pieces of shit. So the point is to just get enough of their time to where they can maybe present yourself, your real authentic self, and maybe capture them in that way. Fake it till you make it. But definitely. No mirror selfies, and I do think he, I, sir, if you're listening, you are a handsome man, and I think that. See this photo right here, the photo with the puppy that I have here, smiling, with that puppy, would probably be my profile photo. That's good. Mm -hmm. You fucking poser. (laughs) (laughs) All right, this right here would be just traffic galore. Let me see. Let me me see. see. This right here. That is really cute. Oh Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With the puppy. Aww, my smiley, okay. right? Would you put one with you on the stage doing stand up? No. No, no, no. You that's my it. sixth photo. Oh. Sixth? Yeah. That's like the last. Yeah, yeah. No, that, that's kind of like gross because I like felt the like- first show Friday, Sac- Sacramento, Sac- San Francisco. I got a standing O. Yeah. I have I I have somebody take a photo. Of <laughs> that's good. I, let me say something. <laughs> hey, if you had good. a photo of that's yourself good. on stage doing yeah. stand up, yeah. I would have not swiped right. Your photos were so well chosen, and I thought like really like you. I'm like oh I you're so humble because I had I actually saw other comics on there. Yeah. And I didn't swipe on any like of them. Like who? Yeah. I will not say. Just say one name. There are a couple, but I I was like I don't like how they presented themselves. I want to know. Tell me later. So, um, yeah, but dude, let me say something. Okay. You got to fake it, right? Because your real life isn't good enough. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. You know, (laughs) but that's the truth. You know, it's like when women do the same thing, they do photos from a beach or just all the profile pics are from the shoulder up. Wait, hang on. When you um, saw me in real life. It's your leg, your legs. I know, but did my photographs like match my what I look like in person no dang you had a way bigger forehead in real life <laughs> my forehead yeah I, I, that's what I noticed I don't have a big forehead I know but it, 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 I know but still it was still it was sh- hot or something and it was shiny that's what I liked about it I'm always I, I, I go, fucking look shiny look at that fucking f- shiny forehead she has did you think I was prettier the same or not as pretty I liked Everything about I liked your accent. They would eat a little bit of an accent, uh-huh. and I. This is what I. The thing that I remember the most was, you. Most women when they meet me or have dinner, they they scoot away from me. <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, it is sad, but they want. They just kind of yeah. sl- through the day. They just kind of are further, further away. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. Aww. No, just not in you know like five feet. <laughs> So okay. did it, you're walking home. It's right. five yeah, yeah, it's like five or ten feet, right? <laughs> but with Kalila, I noticed she was closer, right? And even when we went into, I remember distinctly that clothing store we went to, that vintage clothing mm-hmm. store, right? And I remember watching you watch me. Mm-hmm. That was nice. Yeah, you're watching his ass or what? No, he was just kind of, she was kind of just looking up while she was shopping. Oh, and I, you know, I looked up and I did a little giggle. You that know was I mean? strategy on my part, the whole clothes thing. Yeah. It's me saying like, I'm not afraid of you. Like you don't intimidate me. Or what about the me. other one where I knew the guy and then I went in the back and I jumped on top of all those clothes. Oh, that move was pretty, That was a pretty good yeah. move, dude. Damn. Yeah, what did you do, you just jumped moves. on clothes? No, the guy just knew me and I was just like, oh, this is my chance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, dude, that's a. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. No, but that's the, that's the only reason why we need to, to tell the story now. We went to a vintage store because I live right by um, 4th Street, which is like a bunch of vintage shops. And um, we, Bobby's like, let's go to this shop. And then the owner of the guy, uh, shop was like, hey, I have like this you know, big mountain of clothes back there. Um, mm-hmm. Do you want to jump on it? And I can take a picture. And so he did. And that was his moment. And yeah, that was cute. I'll post it on Instagram. 
Yeah. And then... But you um, didn't answer my question. Was I prettier, uglier, or the same as the photo? You were prettier in real life. Oh, thank God. I wasn't false advertising. But your legs were the ones. Yes. They're not quite the same now, though. I still love them. I love your legs. They're yeah, little, yeah, yeah. They're, they're much like... smaller than the rest of your body, but they're very cute. And your hair distribution is <laughs> it's cancerous. Something. It's like cancerous. it's Mad Max. I think that your thighs are cancerous. <laughs> it's Mad Max. Yeah, like why don't you have thigh hair? Because well, I had cancer just right here. I, I did. I did uh, chemotherapy just right here. <laughs> spot spot <laughs> yeah, yeah, spot yeah. chemo. <laughs> it's called spot chemo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I don't even know why. Like God put some here, but I think he. You know, when God made me or designed me, he was just was just in a hurry. He's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Personality, I gotta make okay. a million of those. Yeah. The body. I yeah. think he put too much personality. Like, he fucked me up. I do. <laughs> anyway, um, so that guy. Anyway, um, I, am I going on the road anytime soon? Yeah, shows. Um, What is, is it June? I think next month you're going to Portland. Oh, nice. And San Francisco? No, I no, mean San, San Antonio. Uh, yeah, San Antonio and Portland is coming up. Uh huh. Good, Good night, night, everybody. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, I'm gonna turn the air off because it's so fucking. Let, uh, just really quick, guys. Uh, make sure you check out our sponsor, Lisa, for an amazing mattress. Bobby Plyla, love it. Uh, so make sure you go to lisa.com slash belly uh, for $160 off a Lisa mattress. So do that. Um, any announcements, reverse shout outs, shout outs? Uh, I'm assuming Fritter is not adopted by you. No, 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 no. no, no. Fritter's available. Fritter available. is fully Where's available. Fritter? Right here. He, don't go He's back sleeping. up. You might hit his head. Be it's careful. okay. Yeah, don't back up. Um, Fritter is fully available. He's probably one of the smartest puppies. Actually, not just puppies. He's smarter than most, both of my dogs combined. At like seven weeks, you, you just, he could. You just said his name. His head popped up. Oh really? Yeah. At seven weeks, he could already do the whole sit and shake and everything. He, oh, wow. he leads the pack for sure. So if you have a dog, because he's an orphan, he needs to be with another dog that can show him the ropes. Um, and you have the space and the home to welcome a new puppy. Please go to Mayday Rescue and fill out an application, and they decide. Um, they try to match um, Fritter with the best home. So cool. he's still up for adoption, guys. Here, let me put him on camera. Yeah, grab it. And while you're doing that, um, there's been a lot of messages. People are asking, oh, where are, uh, where's new merch? I go on the website. It's not there. Um, new merch is coming very soon. Uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram uh, and Twitter for the announcement of what day we will be dropping the merch. It'll be very soon. Uh, so make sure you are following Tiger Belly. Or even if you want to get an early look, make sure you're following Kalila on Instagram. She might post a story about it sometime soon. Um, can you get him on camera? Is he? Is he on there? Is he on it? Zoom up. Yeah, say hi, Fritz. Fritter. You're not zoomed up, are you? I zoomed in a little bit. All right, tell me when you zoom back out. I'm gonna have you to zoom up on something else. I think puppy breath is quite possibly the most intoxicating (laughs) smell on the planet. I don't care what you guys say. I can open mouth kiss my dog. She's doing it. She's doing it. They're making out. He does nibble. He just nibbled on my lip. Yuck. You think that's gross, Bryce? That's so gross. I know. He licked my eczema. The dog licks its ass, eats shit. Eczema. Eczema. Let me tell you something about me, Bryce. I lick ass too. So I think (laughs) poor fritter. You know what I mean? Poor fritter. (laughs) That's on. That's horrible. Uh, So guys, uh, merch. Uh, we will be selling these amazing mugs that Kalila caught her tears in earlier. (laughs) Okay, let me catch more tears. Catch more tears. A tire. uh, Do your uh, QVC so we can turn to a gif. You better be good. George is gonna post that one. There it is. It's a Tiger Belly mug and with the famous slogan, Nosotros papaya to you, my friend. And if you look behind the mug, uh, Bryce, if you zoom up, uh, zoom up or zoom in, behind sorry, is a uh, T-shirt. Uh, that will be available limited only. Look at that. Look at the way Claw is showing that. It is our 80s-inspired uh, T-shirt with the supreme leader himself, Captain Bobby Slep King mm-hmm. Lee. And then we'll have a third shirt that I will not tell you what that is. It is a reprint of an OG shirt we have. So we'll have three things available. Plus, uh, this will be the last run also of our sticker pack one. The next run uh, will be soon right after, and it will be a new sticker pack. So make sure you get um, some of the final sticker pack ones before they're gone forever. Um, any announcements? Anything else? Um, Did you watch MVP fight? Quick, by any highlights? Okay, mm-hmm. just well, shout out to Michael Venom Page at Bellator. 
crazy knockout. Fun to watch. And also his uh, second boxing match. I crazy like, knockout. I feel like he has the best highlight reel out of anybody. It's so fun to watch. I right? want him in the UFC. I want to see him fight. They would have to offer. I think he's very, very well taken care of in Wait. Bellator. Uh, Michael Benham Page, MVP. Amazing highlights. Uh, Bryce, do you have any announcements? Uh, George will be back next week, hopefully, and I'll be in Michigan, so we're changing, trading places. Oh. Also, follow me on Instagram. I need followers, guys. George what? is getting too many. Oh, Bryce, yeah, what's, Bryce your, what's your Instagram? Bryce Hallett. Hallett. At Bryce Hallett. Hey, I have an idea. <laughs> it's getting in George's head, so we need uh, some competition. Yeah, there. let's get in. I think that George is getting too comfortable as, like, first captain, and I think that everyone <laughs> needs to give Bryce a follow. His Instagram handle is Bryce Halleck. That's with the Y. B R Y C E H A L L O C K, and I think that we need to surpass. He needs to surpass George in followers, and I think that's a great mind fuck to give George. Oh, what a great surprise when George comes back! Yeah, mm-hmm. let's see if Bryce's gonna eclipse George. Um, oh, that's so mean. But let's do it. But I think that's all we have for this week, yep. and we will see you guys next right. week. So make sure you follow Tiger Belly uh, on Instagram at Tiger Belly on Twitter at the Tiger Belly. Email us any questions or unhelpful advice at the tigerbelly at gmail.com. You can follow Bryce at where he said you could follow him. And you can follow Kalala on all social media at Calamity K. And all your Slub King needs at bobbyleelive.com. And have a good night.